All right. Batman and Robin, Sega Genesis, brilliant game, fantastic soundtrack. Based on the animated series, created by uh, Bruce Tim. Max, we're going to need all those credits because this is one hard game. Why am I only recording at 50 frames a second instead of 60? Interesting. Oh. But well, obviously I'm going to be Batman, he's a boss. Right, let's see. Ah, so you've got two buttons. Jump, attack. You basically got the, you fight using these projectiles, and when you get up close he does melee attacks. I think I picked this game up in a second-hand shop many, many years ago. I think it's cash convert the fact. It gets really hard. I don't think I've ever finished it. I have watched the Tool Assisted run, so I know how it ends. My god, is it hard. I mean, obviously, technically, visually, it's much better than Batman Returns and all the other Batman. It's probably the best Batman game on the Sega Genesis, actually. I think a boss is coming. You just gotta keep hitting him. Ah, oh, it's not a boss, it's just a big fat guy. Okay, fair enough. Oh, you can shoot diagonally, that's good. I'm trying my best, but it's getting tricky. This controller was not designed for use of this game, so it's a little bit sluggish. Oh, oh now he gives me health. Oh, it's just ridiculous the difficulty. Gotta keep going. I hope there's a skull in one of these. There we go. Needed that. This game's obviously um, designed for two player experience. Come on, move. It's a bit sluggish. Slide attack, eh? Ah! Oh. See how hard this is? It always gives you health at the wrong time. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I got infinite, like, super attack, and he wastes it by, because they get too close. One thing that is bothering me is how sluggish it is to move. Oh, great. My seven-year-old self would be shouting at me for how bad I'm doing. Wow, this boss has a crap ton of health, man. Double attack. I'm gonna get game over. Get up. I'm nearly dead. Ah. Oh. 
Continue, continue. Oh, are you kidding? I have to start the whole level again. Is that for real? Oh my god. That's ridiculous. There's not even like a checkpoint. Are you serious? So I have to you get game over on this ridiculously hard game. You have to watch me do all that crap again. I might be able to do it faster and better this time. I think I am doing that. I know you can diagonal attack now. Obviously this isn't as fun as Arkham City. I mean come on, let's get real. It's only a Genesis game, how could it be? Just watch, I'm gonna beat this level this time. Oh, I've got double attack now, that'll make it easier. Unless I die. That's what I might do, if I don't start moving my ass. Oh, you can like... One thing this game lacks is Kevin Conroy, who did the voice of Batman in the cartoon. Oh, I haven't got my double attack anymore. Come on, where is it? No skull. Where is it? Oh. Not doing so good. I'm rage quitting if I lose again. Here we go again. I should be talking about more, shouldn't I? This boss stinks. There are better bosses in this in the game, believe me. This bottom's nearly destroyed. Okay, what happens now? I have to attack that. Oh, I didn't need to jump off the ledge. I'm actually hitting it with a double. Killed. I think the middle's about to come off. I'm not sure. I got double again. It's a lot easier now that it can't move. I think I've got it. Head? Do I have to attack the head? Oh, it's Harley Quinn! Die, Harley Quinn. Harleen Quinzel. Joker's uh, second. Who he physically abuses. Of course he does, he's the Joker. You wouldn't expect him to treat her nice, would you? a psychopath. You know, I may have mentioned this in my Batman Returns video. 
pretty sure I did. A lot of the uh, Batman villains who go to Arkham Asylum don't actually belong in a mental institution at all. Um, the Joker wouldn't be... Well, I suppose he would be, but he'd be in a much more... Alright, next level. I'm going to stop him when I get game over. Who was it that wouldn't actually be in Arkham? Um, Two-Face would... The Riddler wouldn't. No reason why he'd be in Arkham. Why would he not be in a regular prison? Penguin. And you don't put someone in a um, secure unit just because they're a bit of a sociopath. People tend to go and secure units because they're completely raving mad, you know, like can't control themselves. That's why I think Joker would just be in a standard prison, to be honest. He'd still get psychiatric treatment in a regular prison. There's no reason for him to be in a secure unit like Arkham. In fact, that's probably counterproductive. Considering they don't actually have any real effective treatment for sociopaths anyway, I don't think. There's a guy called Zeus who definitely would be. He actually thinks he's Zeus. So yeah, he's, he suffers from great delusions. Basically, people who are delusional, people who can't control themselves, complete raving bonkers. Heck, not even Killer Croc. Mad Hatter, yes, he's very delusional. He's completely off his rocker, out of his mind. Come on, get the health! Ah, oh, damn it, I was just, just wrong side. Shall we keep going a bit more? Just keep going until it tells you you can. Yeah, this game's meant to be two player really. That's why it's so difficult playing as one. There's quite a few Sega Genesis games like that, designed purely for two player co op purposes rather than. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for that. Oh, an extra life. Why have I do? I'm sure I'm better at this game than when I was seven, but could be wrong. I'm probably not, I'm probably terrible compared to my child self. I remember getting pretty far. Come on, die already! Controls are a bit sluggish though, a bit stiff. Keep going, keep going until you get that. Wanna. Excellent. Another good wanna. Need those. This is the weirdest Batman game, isn't it? I wonder how they came up with this concept. Because it's so different from the others on that system. Like you play Batman Returns, it's much more serious, much more sort of 
realistic kind of game. For what it is anyway. Ah, uh, Harley Quinn again. It's the movement is really stiff. Like to try and move when you. Harley Quinn was a uh, psychiatrist brought in to try and treat the Joker, and she ended up becoming like the Joker because. He's that's what the Joker does. He affects your mind. Ah, uh, I think they're on a boss. I think the boss is the Joker, which is unusual for a Batman game. Normally the Joker is the main villain of a Batman game. This he's pretty much the first villain you stop. You see him in the background operating the crane. I think I just have to avoid that. Not doing a very good job of avoiding these falling rocks. Here we go, I'm on the boss. I think at the moment it's just a bit of patience and uh, you've got to take down Harley. She's not as tough as the robot. She's still going to kill me a few times. Obviously this is more fun on co-op, but you know, I don't have any friends. Whoa. This is tough. I think the robot was harder. If I kill this without dying, it's not going to happen. One hit. Oh my god, I did it. Unbelievable. Do you see how much health I got left? Like, none. Unlucky, Harleen. Alright, I'm gonna stop it there. That was fun. <laughs>